My name is Six, and welcome back to another weekly Gotcha Recap, a video series where I go over all the latest drama, releases, news, beta tests, alpha tests, everything that mattered to me over the course of the last week in one very easy to digest format. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification so you remain up to date with everything I post, and trust me, you're gonna want to. Let's start this off with Blue Protocol. Blue Protocol isn't your traditional gotcha game, but it is an MMO that has gotcha elements in it. The Taiwanese server for the game is entering closed beta testing. You can go ahead and apply for that if you're interested, then... This is a thing. This is a thing in video games this is a character in a gotcha game this is i i don't know why but it's apparently a thing someone conceptualized this and decided to actually implement it in a video game again i don't know why Honkai store rail won multiple awards on the google play store and the apple app store awards they rewarded players by giving them 800 stellar jade. There are just some people that are happy with this because it's more than they got for Genshin. Some players are upset with this because this is the equivalent of like a five pull, I think less than a full dedicated 10 pull. 404 Game Reset, also known as Error Game Reset, is ending its service on January 5th, 2024. I mean, this isn't really a shock to anyone but it's still sad nonetheless. Mist Train Girls is ending their service on November 30th. Wait, oh, that, you know what? It's, yeah, it was yesterday. They're, they're officially shut down and gone forever. Sinful Gear XD Unlimited is ending its service on the 31st of January, 2024. That's yet another game shutting down. I know every week I seem to cover more gotcha games that are shutting down and not nearly as many are releasing. And that might actually be a good thing because we're clearing out all the trash and making way for the, well, the inclusion of more trash, but also the odd high quality game here and there. Now, before we cover any additional gotcha games, any gotcha news, drama, I wanna take a moment here to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon who allow for me to continue to do dedicated videos like this every single day. You guys are amazing. Now back to the video. Black Clover M just launched and I spent the day streaming it. These were my impressions after spending several hours in it. Arc Knights won the best for Google Play games on PC on Google Play's best apps and games of 2023. Cat Fantasy is entering its open beta. And if you're a fan of pussy like I, I mean pussy, if you're a fan of kitty, ki, if you're a fan of cats, cat people, neckos like I am, this is gonna be a game you want to try out. Time in and Go Go is shutting down on the 26th of January, 2024. It's a month after my birthday. I'd advise you not to go Googling time in and go, go because it, you're going to get some images that are not suitable for viewing around other people. Trust me. I, I did when I was curious what this was and thankfully Mrs. Sticks didn't judge me too harshly. I got a little glare, but that was about it. Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Praise Revenue reached over $10 million in the first week of the game's release. That is crazy. That is actually absolutely crazy. I don't know if the game will do as good globally, but I mean, that is one of the biggest opening weeks for a gacha game I've seen in recent memory that didn't have a global release. Hero Contra is shutting down. That's sad. I remember covering this a long time ago, or at least playing this a little bit a long time ago. Man, how time has flown by. One Piece Thousand Storms service will be ending on January 23rd, 2024. I mean, just looking at the, the poster for this, it actually looks like trash. So I'm gonna be honest, it probably deserved to be shut down. AFK Journey has opened their closed beta test pre-registration for those of you that are interested in trying the game out. If I get into the beta test, I will be streaming this. I think it could be kind of cool. Trails of Cold Steel Northern War is set to launch in Japan on December 6th. Never played any of the, the Trails Legend of Heroes games. Sorry, not the Trails of Cold Steel games. Never played any of the Legend of Heroes 
games. So, I mean, this isn't necessarily going to appeal to me, but I've always wanted to get into it. I just know this isn't a good starting point. Micah Fantasia is ending its service on January 22nd, 2024. Every single gacha game that is ending, their service is literally ending it around the 20th through the 27th. It's crazy. They've all decided to end it around the same week. Star Healer has announced their end of service announcement as well. They're ending their service. Oh, they've ended their service on November 27th. Well, I mean, the game's already dead. Zenless Zone Zero recently got hit with some censorship. I'm sure you've all heard plenty of this. The character animations for Nicole, her outfit as well both censored nekomata was censored various other aspects of the game were censored a lot of people covered it there was a lot of anger in the community over this nikkei won google plays best game of the year 2023 award in korea best story game and best tablet game award both in japan and korea which is phenomenal and totally well deserved like that it really is this game has a phenomenal story and i've been playing it extensively i mean you know for the the plot obviously now, they did give out 10 pulls for, for free, like a free 10 pull ticket, which is you know more than Hoyu gave out for Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> and I appreciate that. I, I love getting free 10 pulls whenever they win awards that I were, wasn't even aware were happening or being distributed. And interestingly enough, I actually made a tweet. <laughs> this is the 10 pull I did with the currency I got from them winning the Play Store Awards. I got Blanc and Noir, both two incredible SSR units I, that I already had, granted, this will help me upgrade them, and Coco as well. So I got three SSRs. Oh, by the way, if you don't already, you should totally follow me over on Twitter. Project Hitomi is holding their second closed beta test. Pre-registration is open right now for those of you that are interested. This is a game that actually looks kind of good. Reverse 1999 is releasing their version 1.2 on December 7th, if I recall. The trailer for this actually looks so fucking good. It's unreal. They are killing it with update after update. Version 1.1 was really fun. Version 1.2 looks even better than 1.1 did. And finally, Tower of Fantasy. So there, there's been a lot of discussion about Tower of Fantasy. I guess I should probably do a dedicated video discussing this in, in more detail, but essentially they documented a lot of what the the sequel Tower of Fantasy 2, what the spin-off of Tower of Fantasy, the reboot of Tower of Fantasy is gonna be. There is a lot to condense here, but the TLDR is they are rebalancing a lot of aspects of the game. They're removing a bunch of different features, a bunch of different areas. They're completely revamping a lot of the game. They're going to be focusing more on single player and focusing much less on multiplayer, trying to essentially Genshinify it. And they're going to do all of this on a separate server, not on the, the live servers that are being played on right now, rather on a new server that will, in their words, run concurrently with the current Tower of Fantasy game. So they're gonna be putting all of their money, all of their focus and efforts on this new Tower of Fantasy reboot while leaving the current Tower of Fantasy kind of as it is. Like they're, they're gonna to continue to push out updates for it, but they're not gonna to be to the same quality that they are now filled with the same degree of content because everything is gonna be focused on the reboot. And that is a little bit concerning for the current version of the game, but also kind of good for the new version of the game because this could be what the game needs to finally recapture the essence of, of the game, what could have potentially made the game good. Now that is it. That is everything that I found at all interesting over the course of the last week. Again, make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of this. Now, if none of this is of any interest to you, though, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now. That might be more interesting.